Yo, Wagwan Internet, Kyle Linux there. So I'm dual booting Windows. Not because Linux doesn't provide all the stuff I need, but because I want to do some experiments with benchmarks, games, and different little things like that. And also, I thought it'd be a good idea to put a video together about dual booting so that those out there who haven't tried Linux will have an idea of how to get themselves set up on here using two separate hard drives as opposed to splitting one of their hard drives into multiple partitions. So I've got a Samsung 500 gigabyte SSD. I'll be putting Windows 10 on this little guy right here. And I also have a new desktop PC. I had to say bye bye to my Wild Dog Pro recently because I wanted to upgrade, play some more graphically intensive games and also do some more CPU and RAM intensive stuff on my workstation, like video editing, for example. So this is the new build, the GTX 1080, 16 gigs of RAM, uh, one terabyte Samsung SSD, and then now I have the 500 gig that I'm popping in there, all by NZXT and from their Let's Build or Let's BLD website, which is pretty cool. No endorsements, unfortunately, I didn't get paid by them to do this video, but I do like their tower, and it's been pretty cool. So I'm removing this chassis, I'm going to be putting the 500 gigabyte SSD here, sliding it in and then popping it right back into place. And there's something that you'll see coming up, but I'll make note of it here. When you are basically installing two operating systems, at least Linux and Windows, it's a good idea to make sure you disconnect the, let's say you already have Linux installed, for example. You disconnect the hard drive, your your main hard drive, before installing Windows on your second one. The reason for this is because you don't want to have Grub and Windows is like, what is it, the Windows boot manager thing? You don't want them running into conflict. It's problematic. I don't know the technical phrasing, so I apologize in advance to those out there who do. Please leave a comment below so that other people can read the technical terms. I'm still learning. <laughs> but yeah, so here I'm disconnecting the Ubuntu SSD which is on the left and I'll be installing Windows on the newly added 500 gigabyte SSD by itself so there's only one hard drive connected right now and that's the one that's getting Windows installed on it computer so pretty <laughs> so here I'm in the BIOS and uh, it's a BIOS with a GUI it's really nice I'm swapping the uh, boot drives around I moved the USB boot device to the front so that it would start up in Windows or start up the Windows setup process and I've installed Windows and here we are booting into Windows 10 don't cry people who, <laughs> who do not like Windows please don't be sad or hurt by this <laughs> please uh, I'm sure that you guys are stronger than that but yeah thought it'd be funny I'll be removing the Windows SSD and then plugging in the Ubuntu SSD and then wiping the version of Ubuntu I have on there and switching it with Pop! OS by System76 though I will note I am not still using Pop! OS I'm not currently using that I've switched over to Ubuntu Mate uh, 18.04 and I've been very happy so this was the Windows 10 flash drive here and this is the Pop OS flash drive. Um, and I'll be installing that now. I prefer Ubuntu Mate over Pop OS. Um, things just seem to work a little bit better. I don't know what was going on with Pop OS and this NZXT tower, but uh, things were just getting kind of funky and I was getting annoyed trying to, you know, sift through different things, particularly getting uh, the NVIDIA graphics drivers working. I don't know what was going on with that, but. When I did it on Ubuntu, no problems. Pop OS left me in like infinite login loops. It was strange. All right, so reconnected both cables now, right? So now that Pop OS is installed, I've connected both hard drives to the motherboard and I've booted into Pop OS because now I need to update Grub. So you're going to type in sudo 
update grub, type in your password, and then it'll run through its process and you'll notice that it says it detects Windows on this machine. So, boom, now grub will know that it can boot into both Windows and Pop! OS. So when you reboot the computer and it's starting up, grub pops up and then you can select which operating system you want to boot into. And that's it. Real simple. I just wanted to throw this quick video together, nothing too fancy, so that you guys could, um, you know, get a chance to try this out if you are interested in dual booting using two different hard drives as opposed to just using one and splitting that hard drive into multiple partitions. So, give thanks for viewing. Um, again, apologize to those out there who know this as a Linux channel or are worried that this is going to go into a Windows thing. I promise you it's not. It's Linux all day, every day. That is my favorite OS. Always will be, I think, unless something more amazing comes along. Now, with all that being said, this has been Kai Linux. And remember, no matter what distro you use, out of many, one Linux. Give thanks. Peace.